All right, well, welcome aboard today to today's webinar. We're gonna have a free live training on how to take control of your online reputation to drive more sales in your business locally on the internet there. So we're doing this a little different today. We're broadcasting live in the Facebook group, Tree Service Marketing Secrets. Again, if you're watching this later, if you're watching the replay, uh, click to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching it from YouTube or if you're watching it or listening to it on the podcast, like and subscribe to your favorite player. We're on all the major podcast uh, platforms, Amazon, um, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, everything else. So I just wanted to do a little different this time, broadcast live inside the Facebook group, Tree Service Marketing Secrets. If you're not a member and you're watching this later, go to Facebook, search for Tree Service Marketing Secrets. We'll approve you if you're a tree service business um, as well. So really, really excited. Thank you so much for joining us today. We got more people hopping on as we speak there. So I'll let a few people kind of keep joining. We're a couple minutes after the hour of 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get started there. So I just wanted to do a quick webinar today. I felt like this was such an important topic that we needed to go over it and the importance of your online uh, reputation. You know what I mean? And it, so it's just such a humongous impact on a lot of different things from your Google Maps rankings and SEO, and also people that are going to call you at converting those people to paying customers. You know, you, you're kind of letting your reputation online speak for itself because it's tough to fake 100, 150, 200 reviews on the internet. So I wanted to show you kind of what that looks like. We're going to go through live examples of some clients that have hundreds of reviews, how that works, how that makes a massive impact in their local area online, and how it brings them tons and tons and tons of inbound call leads in their local market. Because Google wants to show the best results at the top of the page. If you think about what their business model is, it is showing people that search on their platform the best results at the very top of the page. And what are the best results? They're the top rated tree companies in the local market, right? They're not the bottom of the barrel local tree companies who have bad reviews, bad ratings, bad websites, bad Google My Business listings, bad Google Map listings. Like they're not going to show those, right? They're going to show the ones that are the highest rated just you know, by default. So I want to show you how important that is. I'm going to go ahead and share my slides with you. And that way you can kind of see what we're going to be going through today. And if you're on here, uh, we do have a live chat open today. So if you have any questions, feel free to pop a chat question in as we go. And I'll take breaks periodically to address your chat questions. Happy to answer any questions live on the, on the webinar today. It's actually fun when we interact and you guys ask questions because a lot of times you have these questions in the back of your head. Maybe something I go over kind of sparks your uh, remembering of something that you wanted to ask a question after somebody else. And we do this every single day. So we're open to questions. Please let us know. If you can see our slides, if you could pop in the chat, yes, uh, you can see the slides. Sometimes it's showing the screen behind the slides. I just want to make sure before we get started here. Um, and then that way we know exactly uh, we got everything in the, in the forefront there. I'm pretty sure it's showing the slides there. So I just want to make sure you can see it. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, how to take control um, of your online reputation and drive more sales and more revenue to grow your business in your local market. This is just the, the biggest, most important factor for you as a tree service business owner, any contractor out there, if you're watching this and you're in another niche, it doesn't necessarily pertain to just tree service, but it's every business on the internet. If you would put a strong focus on just getting Google reviews on your Google business listing every day, whenever you go out and touch customers and you guys have good interactions with customers, you get paying customers, they come on and they sign the invoice, they pay the invoice. If there's a way you can integrate getting a Google review with every touch point, You'd be surprised at how many of these you can do. You can get 10 or 20 of these a month pretty easily if you just keep at it and you stay diligent. You know, there is kind of a discipline factor that goes along with it. You got to continually ask people for these reviews. They don't just magically fall out of the sky typically. Now, if you do some run wrong, that will spark a review, a bad review really, really quick. So you always want to be focused on the five star reviews over and over and over and over again, because inevitably, one of your crew members, somebody's going to have a bad day. Um, something may happen where you get a one-star review once in a while, three-star review, that type of thing. So you want to have so many five-star reviews that it just, you know, you're only at 4.9 star rating at that point. You don't go all the way down to like three, 3.0 star, which is the reason why you want 50, 100, 150 Google reviews. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So what we go through with our clients, the digital dominance method, and you've probably seen all of these different elements. If you've been on any of our prior webinars or YouTube videos or online trainings, you know what we harp on is your online digital dominance method. And number one, a piece of number one is what we're going to go over today. So your website, your search engine optimization, where you land when people do searches in your local city and your local market online, 
and how they see you, right? So part of this, number one, foundation building is your reputation on the internet. We're going to go through that small little piece of the number one SEO today. It's not small. It's definitely a huge piece of it because usually online marketing agencies, if they know what they're doing, which we like to think we do in the tree service space, because that's all we do, 70 plus clients across the country. Um, so we like to know that we like to think that, you know, our top clients that are perched at the very, very top of the search results, all of them have one thing in common in most areas. They are the top rated. They are the most heavily rated tree service companies on the Google Maps, on the Google local service ads. And we're going to see what that looks like here in just a minute. I'll show you a screen on Google search, what that looks like. So you can do a search in your market, see where you fall, maybe start comparing where you stack up at the competition and see how you can take them out, get more reviews, right? So we're going to show you that today. So this is a digital dominance method. This is by far one of the most important things you can work on as a business owner, as an office personnel, staff, whoever's going to take charge of this in your, in your business to get these reviews. Because I can tell you without a doubt, they make such a magnificent impact on your business. So uh, over the next 20 to 30 minutes, I uh, need your attention on this because I can tell you, if you implement this in your business, it will literally revolutionize your business. Um, we see clients getting 50, 100, 150 calls a month on their Google map listing because they're the highest rated company and they're at the very, very top of the search results on page one of Google with their map listing like a billboard sticking at the top. So if that sounds good to you, let's talk about it. Let's get you guys figured out. Let's get it going for you. All right. So if you're serious about doubling or tripling the leads that you pull from your Google map listing for tree service or even your Google local service ads, now the Google local service ads at the top, the Google guaranteed section, that's pulling in your Google reviews as well. And so you want to make sure that you've got a good reputation, a good rating on the internet so that people call you there too, right? You don't want to have a um, <clears throat> Google map listing with two or three reviews only. Uh, well, in fact, the, the Google local service ads requires that you have five reviews to even get on the platform. Um, but it just is a big, big difference. So I wanted to show you that. What we're going to cover today is why you can have all the best tools in the world for generating online reviews, but still fail at consistently driving five-star reviews. Uh, how to tap into the power of multi-channel communication. You know, for example, email, SMS, text messaging, and then physical to increase the amount of reviews you get week after week after week after week. Online reviews are a team sport. Uh, and to succeed in this with your business, you need to get the entire team on, in your company on board and bake a focus on reviews and reputation management into your team culture. It's just so, so important. And why you must acknowledge and respond to all your reviews, good, bad, or indifferent, right? So if somebody gives you a good review, hey, thank you so much for giving us a review. Thank you for your business, exclamation point. Somebody gives you a bad review, let's go in there and address that customer on the review because people read that and they read how you respond to that. So it could be a mistaken identity where they're leaving a review on the wrong Google listing sometimes. It could be, hey, we don't have any record of business with you guys. Please call our office if there's anything we can do to help you. Something like that goes a long way in showing that that wasn't a bad review, in fact, right? Um, and how to have all of this taken care of for you, completely turnkey, so you can focus on your business and let your reputation speak for yourself. But I can tell you that you guys can do this yourself. If it's something that you've got in place right now with your business, your tree service business, there's ways that you can get reviews and increase those review counts. Who am I and why should you listen to me? Well, I've been in the internet marketing space for close to 10 years now um, with a couple of different businesses. I'm an author of How to Win with Internet Marketing for Tree Service Contractors. So we've got a physical copy that we can ship out to you free of charge. You just let us know you're applied to email invite to this webinar with your name, your business name, and your mailing address. Happy to ship you a copy with a couple other goodies in there. Uh, you can also buy it on Amazon Kindle for like $1.99. So it's pretty cheap, the digital copy, if you want like, you know, immediate results and want to read that thing over the weekend or something like that. Uh, really cheap, really easy, quick download. And we specialize also in tree service contractor internet marketing. So this is all we do. Like we don't work with all these other different niches in the space, roofers, doctors, attorneys. We don't work with anybody like that. So we know tree service in and out on the internet, how to bring in the most lead flow for your business. Uh, we're, we have an expert web development and digital marketing team uh, in our agency. And we have some of the top experts in all of these categories uh, working under the umbrella of Tree Service Digital right now. So we have, you know, like I said, over 70 clients currently. Um, and we've worked with dozens and dozens, hundreds probably by now, tree service contractors across the United States. And we know what works to generate a flood of new members. And we're members of TCIA, which you guys probably are too. See you guys in November. Come up to our booth uh, if we see you guys in, in uh, Charlotte coming up in a couple of months. 
Uh, but this is all we do. We work with tree service companies. These are some video testimonials we have on our website. If you go to treeservicedigital.com forward slash testimonials under services, you can see, or I think it's under the about us page, you'll see the testimonials page. We got um, probably eight or 10 of these video testimonials. Now, you know, feel free to take a look at those. But this is what we do every single day uh, is tree service internet marketing. We know what works because we're seeing this and we leverage the data across hundreds of campaigns over the years uh, across the United States on what works, what doesn't work, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, what you should focus on, what you shouldn't focus on. Um, and so the question is, is why, you know, why um, do you want to have online reviews, uh, you know, and be highly rated in your market? So online reviews and reputation can make or break your company. Let me repeat that. And, and please let that, that sentence just sink in. Online reviews and reputation can make or break your company. So it's very, very worthwhile to spend your time focusing on getting reviews for your business. And we can show you example after example after example. The highest rated and most frequently rated tree service companies across the United States are in the number one spots on the Google search results on that page for tree service near me in that local area, tree service city, in whatever city you're in, et cetera. I'm gonna show you some of those examples here. Online reputation does not reflect the top quality service that you provide. So you want to provide a world-class experience for your customers. That's number one. And, and number two, that will get you more reviews, but only if you ask, right? People just don't go out of their way most of the time, even if they got a stellar service, awesome service, to go give people reviews all over the internet unless it's being requested of them. And if you gave them a world-class experience, they were super happy with the service and you came highly referred, highly recommended, neighbors have used you guys, you have tons of reviews on the internet and you ask them, they're gonna go give you a review. But you know, the reviews are, are totally separate from the world-class experience that you need to give. Um, have invested, in, maybe you've invested in all the best tools, but you're still not driving enough reviews because you gotta bake it into your culture. And there's a way you can ask your clients and customers when they come on and pay for your services, how to get those reviews and how to get them more frequently. So maybe you failed before at the reviews. You, you know, if you get bad reviews, it drags down all of your other marketing. You're wasting conversion opportunities and you watch your customers go to the competition. Because think about it, people have a choice when they go online looking for a tree service company. If you just think it through, think about it from the eyes of your customer, your potential customer. They don't have a tree service company in their back pocket. They don't know somebody to call. So they're like, I need to call and I need to get some trees trimmed and I need to get a couple removed. Let me go online and look. So tree service near me, search. And maybe they're on their phone and the list of results are at the very top of the page. If you think this through, right, Google is going to show the top rated companies at the very, very top of the page. Why? Because Google's business model is search, right? People go to their website, google.com to search for local things that they need and not even local, everything online, worldwide, everything. But if somebody's looking for local services, a good portion of people, 90 something percent of people just go directly to Google and they type in tree service near me, tree service, my city, you know, whatever your city name is, and they hit search. So if you think about it, Google wants to show those people that are using their platform, their customers, Google's customers, they want to, they want to show them the best results for what they're searching for. And they're not going to show the bottom of the barrel tree companies that have zero reviews, zero like one star ratings a bunch of people are bad mouthing them on their google listing facebook listing all that you, you see what i'm saying like they're not going to show those they don't want to show those they want to show the people that are consistently getting five star reviews on their google listing and it's as simple as just asking your clients and customers to give one to you that's it it's just asking them to do it you just have to have the discipline to do it but as you continue to build these reviews and you get further and further and further ahead of your competition with review count just to you know how many you get uh, the farther up the rankings you're going to be and the more often they're going to show your Google map listing and Google local service ads at the very top of the page. I mean, it's just so important. So there's other tools you can use, uh, but you want to get the most reviews you possibly can. So here's the opportunity, right? So if you really focus on the reviews in your business, I just, I don't know how to articulate how important this is besides just you know, saying it over and over and over again. The opportunity is, is you can literally 3x, 4x the amount of inbound leads you get for your tree service business by just increasing the amount of reviews you get. That's it, right? Because people want to go with the tree company with 50, 100, 200, 400, five-star Google reviews. And you can easily get 10 of these a month 
if you just work at it. I mean, even five a month in a year, you're, you get 60 plus reviews, right? I mean, it's just, just make it a goal to get 50 reviews. I got to get 50 reviews or hundred reviews. If you already have 50, just keep going and pushing forward with this thing, because this will continue to pay dividends online with those efforts to keep getting more and more reviews. Um, so if you're the provider of choice in your local service area and stand out from the competition, that's the opportunity, right? The more reviews you get, the highest ratings you get. So like, let's say there's, there's 12 tree companies in your current little zip code there, your current local area, right? Well, the people with the most ratings, the companies with the most ratings and the highest ratings are going to be at the top in most cases on the Google Maps. Now, there's some other factors to getting ranked on the Google Maps, but the reviews are a humongous portion of that, right? Uh, because Google wants to show the best results, right? They want to show the best companies up there, et cetera. So that's going to be number one. And then you got some companies with just a few reviews and all that. You want to be the provider of choice in your service area and stand out from everybody else. So the more reviews you get, the more they're going to reward you with showing your listing and giving you more calls because they know you're going to take care of the customer that's searching on their platform. If you've got 100 five-star reviews, chances are when another search customer calls you, you're going to take care of them, right? And, and they're not going to complain that you're, you know, Google's given up bad, bad results on the search page. Um, so one of the best practices is to leverage tools that you have to, to the fullest and drive consistent high quality reviews. If you can leverage tools, it'll take so much of the heavy lifting out of trying to get reviews because you've probably tried this before, right? You go, hey, uh, hey, John, thank you so much for your business today. Can you go to Google and give us a Google review? Sure, sure. We'll go do that for you. Okay, thanks so much. Right. And you leave. And then maybe you talk to them a week later, two weeks later, whatever. And they go, yeah, you know, I was going to try to give you a review, but I looked it up online. I couldn't find you. I didn't really know what I was looking for. I'm sorry. I was going to do it. I just, I couldn't do it. Okay, thanks. So it ends there, right? There's no follow-up. There's no, hey, here's how to do it. There's no texting a link or, you know. So you need a tool that's going to make it brain dead simple for your customers to click on a link, click the five-star rating. And if they want to type in, oh, John and his team at XYZ Tree Service were so great. They cleaned up, you know, cleaner than when they found it. Everything was awesome. It was more than I expected. I highly recommend these people. Hit submit, right? If you want those types of reviews, you've got to send out certain links and emails and text messages to your customers. And don't feel bad about it. Everybody wants reviews online, right? But if you, if you ask people, you will receive, right? That's just the way it is. People want to help your business. If you do a good job, they want to tell everybody. So reviews are a big part of what they can offer you um, for free. They can just do it for you. So have your reputation speak for itself online. And I want to show you a visual of what this looks like, right? So just, I just want you to get excited about this because if you're excited about this, getting reviews, don't look at it as a burden. Oh, I got to ask everybody for reviews. Every review you get should excite you because now your Google map listing is, boom, it just got another ding on it for five-star review. Google sees that. Ooh, somebody separate from another IP address in the local area just gave this Google map listing a review. That's SEO search power right there. Oh, the next day, somebody else clicks on your Google listing and uploads a photo. Hey, Johnny and them trimmed our cheese. It looks awesome over here, right? And then they give you a five-star review right after that. That just shows Google that this is a real business and people from all over your local area are logging into Google, clicking on your Google map listing and leaving the review. You can't fake that, right? So have your reputation speak for itself online. Let's look at Google search page and what that looks like. If you are going to do a search in your market for tree service near me, tree service your city, whatever, Take a look at the search results. So here's what's going to be on the top of the first page right here. I just want to show you this live example. When you do a search right here, tree service your city, this is the Google local service ads right here. Google guaranteed, as a lot of people refer to it, because it's got the Google guaranteed badge next to it once you get verified. Can you see like how impactful that is for your business to be number one? This particular customer here has 244 Google reviews and they're 4.8 star rated. Right? They've got a couple of bad reviews in there for whatever reason. Sometimes it's a client, you know, finds the wrong listing and leaves a review. Sometimes a, you know, a tree fell on a fence or who knows. But if you've got 250 plus five-star reviews, it's not going to pull down your overall rating very much at all. So can you see how this one just is humongously out in front of everybody else? 244 reviews. The next competitor's got 74. So they've got almost 200 more. So look right here in the map. So at first, they're going to get a call here in the Google local service ads because guess what? They're the most highest rated and they're number one position there. Number two, they're in the maps. They're Google Maps. Because remember, when you get reviews on your Google map, 
it simultaneously shows and showcases on your Google local service ad as well. So now you're in two spots on the first page. You can't help but get almost every single call on that first page of Google. So when somebody does a search for tree service near me, tree service my city, tree service your city, whatever, and they go hit search, they're going to see a list of results up here. If you have the top rated business, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, yours is going to show over everybody else's, right? So you got to take control of this review process. You got to get this figured out for your business. And it's not that hard. There's tools that you can use to do this, make it really, really simple. But I just wanted you to see a visual of that and how important that is and what that looks like on Google. And what it looks like also is, look at this. This is inside that same customer's Google dashboard. Do you see right here, the last one month? The last one month, this customer's Google business listing, that map listing right here, this map listing right here, not even the ads. The ads are a whole separate another 100 calls the past 30 days. This Google map listing has gotten 111 phone calls in the last 30 days. Let that sink in, 111 phone calls. And this is a, you know, a suburb of a major city. So this, this listing shows up in that suburb, but it also shows up in other local areas too because it's so highly ranked with their website, their Google Maps, their reviews more importantly, because Google wants to show a highly rated company from this area versus, you know, let's say somebody's doing a search in a local area nearby. Well, they might not even show the most local results over there because yours is so highly rated over here, they'd rather show yours over there. So you're just gonna get more and more and more impressions and views on your listing. So 111 calls, could your business use 111 calls over the next 30 days? Probably. You know, I don't know anybody that really wouldn't want that unless you're not set up for it, which in, in which case is still fine. You can still pick and choose what jobs you do when the calls do come in. So I wanted to show you how powerful that is. And I can show you countless of examples like that. And everybody varies a little bit. Sometimes that equates to 70 calls a month, 55 calls a month, 100 calls a month, right, on your Google map listing. Um, but the more you have, the more lead flow you're going to get because people are just going to select your company over everybody else. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that's clear. If you have any questions about that whatsoever, feel free to pop it in the chat and we will take a break and I'll answer a few questions here in just a little while. But um, success of this um, and the reason why you want to do this is because you want to be the go-to tree service company in your area. I mean, it's just, it'll literally revolutionize and change your business by getting all these reviews coming in. And it's really easy. You just ask for them and you send them an easy link and they click on it and they leave you a review. It's that simple, really, when you, when you really boil it down. So do online reviews really matter? I think we just showed a compelling reason why they do uh, when I showed you the local search page right there, right? So 84% of people trust an online review as much as they do a personal recommendation. So let that sink in. So instead of asking their friend or their aunt or their brother or their sister or their mom, what tree company would you go with? They also trust 84% of the time an online review. So if you've got 200 Google reviews, they're pretty well convinced that you're probably a good company. Therefore, they're going to call you to come out and give an estimate, right? Otherwise, if you, if you didn't have any reviews and you weren't showing up online right there on the maps, you're just not going to get that opportunity to come out and get that $3,000 job, $5,000 job, $1,200 job, whatever it may be, right? But if you're there and you get all the reviews and you focus on it, before you turn around, your call volume is going to increase because you got so many reviews. 77% of consumers think that reviews more than three months old aren't relevant. So we got to keep that in mind too. You want to keep getting reviews over and over and over again. So yes, Google reviews are mission critical for your business. I just want to make sure that sinks in for everybody because it's really, really important. So why online reviews are important? You see right here, I think we just showed you that on the top of the first page just a minute ago. Um, but if you look right here, the first, the top of the page, you got the Google Guarantee, Google Local Service ads, which also pulls in your Google Map listings reviews in there. So that's what you want. You want that to show, um, and then you're just going to go ahead and get more calls. That's why it's so important, because they're going to show the businesses with the highest ratings and the most reviews, the most frequently um, requested reviews and posted reviews at the very top of the page, right? Because somebody that got reviews a year ago or two years ago, yeah, they might be a good company, but maybe they're not as good now. Right, so Google wants to see you getting reviews all the time. Um, so I want to just kind of reiterate that. So why reviews are mission critical? So here's why reviews are mission critical for your business. One, they impact your local rankings. So we just showed, like, if you get the most reviews, you're going to be ranked on top in most cases. 
88% of consumers look at online reviews. Number two, this is why they're also mission critical. Number three, it's a major conversion factor. So if you get the call in more cases than otherwise you would have gotten, they're going to go with your company because you've got more reviews. So it's like this snowball effect, right? Not only do you show up more and get more calls, you also convert more of those calls to paying customers because you have such high ratings, right? So I just want to show you that importance is like, I get excited about this because every time we get a new client that really focuses on reviews and they get five, 10 of these a month, every single month without fail, their business is literally head and shoulders in front of everybody else. And on top of the first page of Google within four to six months, it doesn't even take that long with everything else that we're doing as well in conjunction with the Google reviews, in addition to the Google reviews. I mean, it's just, it's, it's almost unfair when you get to the top of the first page and you're getting all those leads, right? That the other tree companies just aren't getting because they're not focusing on their reviews or their SEO and any of the other stuff. Um, so they impact your local service ads too, not just your Google Maps rankings, but also your Google local service ads, the Google guaranteed ads at the very top. And they impact your new customer acquisition. So why is controlling and managing your Google reviews critical to you? If you have a question or do you want to post it or you just want to write it down, like just think about that just for a second. Like why would it be important to you to really beef up your online reviews? And, and maybe you've got 10 right now and you go, gosh, that's a, that's a big mountain to climb to get to 50 or 100 reviews. I just don't know. I, I don't know if we want to focus on that or not. Assign it to somebody else in your company, right? Maybe one of your foremen on your crews, maybe your office secretary, whatever, whatever the case may be, just make sure you guys focus on that. And, and you bite off an elephant one bite at a time, right? You don't try to eat the whole elephant one bite and one swallow. It's just not possible. So try to get five to 10 reviews every month. Heck, even if you get three to five reviews every month, you're still going places in, in just a few months, right? But if you get five or 10 a month, some people can get 20 or 30 of these a month. We have clients getting dozens of these a month because they have a tool that A, makes it easier and simpler. Uh, and then B, they're just always asking, right? So if you ask 50, let's say you do 50 jobs in a month, right? 50 jobs in a month. Let's say there's 20 business days in a month. That's like two and a half jobs a day, 2.75 jobs a day. You can ask two or three people a day for a review, right? That's if you ask 50 people, you will get at least a third of those people posting and submitting their review on your profile. So that's 20 reviews or 15 or 20 reviews in a month. Like you can do that. It's not hard to do. You just have to be diligent with it and assign that task to somebody because it makes a humongous difference in the amount of calls that you get for your business. So if you have any, any questions, pop them in the chat. Again, if you don't, that's fine too. See, we have several people on live. Appreciate you guys being here today. If you have any questions, just ask them. I'm here for you. We'll answer any questions. Maybe you got some questions about your Google business profile, your map listing or whatever. Just let me know. We'll, we'll happily go through that. So, but just, just think about it. Why is it, you know, why is controlling and managing your online reviews critical to you? So here's five key principles that you want to focus on uh, for your online reputation right here. Um, number one, first and foremost, we can't ask for a review unless we know the customer's happy, right? If we know they're happy and they're like, gosh, this looks so great. The trees have been trimmed. Everything looks awesome over here. Or maybe you cleared their acre and it looks beautiful. And they're like, oh, this is awesome. We got all this brush and debris removed. Everything looks great. You know that they probably will give you a review if you just ask, right? Because they're just telling you right now they're happy. Um, ask them to give you a review. But number one, we got to provide a world-class customer experience first. That's first and foremost. You don't want to be going out there tarnishing your reputation because then when people are mad, they're more likely to go leave a bad review than if somebody's really, really happy to go leave you a Google review, right? Even, like, so when somebody's mad, they want to go seek out and find you on the internet and go bash you and badmouth you and, 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 and make your company look bad because they don't want other people to experience the same type of thing, right? Maybe they paid you good money. You didn't come back and you didn't clean the debris up. You didn't take the logs off. You waited three weeks to do that or whatever the case may be, right? There's all kinds of things. Maybe you broke their fence and didn't acknowledge it and didn't say that you'd fix it or correct it, right? And that happens all the time. Um, so just make it right. Your, your, your reputation is worth more than one job, right? Your, your online reputation is worth a lot more than just one job. I can tell you that because that goes a long way for years and years and years and years to come. 
not just today, collecting the invoice today, right? If you broke somebody's fence, acknowledge it. Look, we messed up. We, we, you know, one of the limbs fell and it broke part of the fence. We're going to fix that for you. No questions asked. And just, you know, you're just going to take it on that, on that job, right? But you got to provide a world-class experience, number one, um, because nobody's going to give you a review otherwise. Number two, build online reviews and reputation management into your company culture. So what we like to do is we have a tool and there's lots of other tools out there. And I think we showed a couple of screenshots of those tools. There's BirdEye, there's, I don't know, there's tons of them. Uh, but we have a tool too, a proprietary tool that we use for our clients. And literally it's a short link that you can give to each one of your field techs, field crew, foreman, you know, crew leaders, whatever, office manager. And you can simply text it to the customers after every job. You can also embed this link on your digital invoices if you're sending them out and people pay the invoice. Oh, by the way, did you get five-star service from us? We would absolutely appreciate a five-star review on our Google rating. Click here. And literally, they click right there. So you get some from there without you even having to do anything. It's just on the digital invoice. You ask them on the invoice. It's already there. Boom, you get them there. And then other times, you put them in the tool and you send them a text and an email. So if you bake this into your daily process, you're going to get more reviews, right? You're just going to get a lot of reviews. Number three, what you measure, inspect, and celebrate, you create more of, right? So it gets contagious. It gets, people want to get more reviews, right? Like, hey, man, I, you know, we got three reviews this week from our happy customers, you know, maybe one of your, your crews. And then another crew, oh, we only got two, you know, so they're, they're kind of in competition on who gets the most reviews. You can even offer incentives. Like, let's say you're running three crews out there. Whichever crew gets the most reviews every week gets a $50 gift card or whatever, because I can tell you that money will be well worth spent paying your crew and your team members and people to get incentivized to get more reviews because you're going to get more business because you're online and you're showing up everywhere. I can tell you it's without hesitation. Um, number four, leverage best in-class tools to request reviews after every service call and ensure that you communicate using all channels, email, SMS, physical, digital invoices, things like that, right? If you put it everywhere, you're just going to get a review from here and there every month, right? So that, that adds up to five to 10 reviews a month. Yes, you can put them in your tool and request them. You'll get some from there. Sometimes you're going to get them on the digital invoices you send out for the client to pay the difference, pay the remaining of the invoice. Hey, did you get five-star service? We would highly appreciate a Google review. Um, you could even so much as tell everybody every month, you're going to throw them into a gift card running. If they leave you a Google review, at the end of the month, we'll announce the winner, blah, 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 right? Those types of things go a long way. Um, and it makes people give the incentive to give you that review. Uh, number five, acknowledge and respond to every review. I think we mentioned this 10 or 15 slides ago. Even if you get a bad review, go respond to it, right? Oh, XYZ Tree Company came out. We had a client get a review not too long ago because they were at a neighbor's house three doors down and somebody three doors down posted a bad review on their thing. Oh, XYZ Tree Service was here at 8 a.m. and they started doing tree work and it woke up all the neighbors. I mean, you, you, there's no way to avoid that, right? You start work early, you get out there early, you want to get the job done for the customer, but one of their neighbors leaves you a crappy review, right? So the easiest way, you go respond to that and you say, listen, ma'am, we don't have any record of doing any work for you. If there's anything we can do to make this right, please call our office, right? You can just do something like that. Like acknowledge that somebody left you a bad review, but also acknowledge like, we don't know who you are. We don't have any record of you, right? And, you know, sorry, ma'am, but our client, our customer asked us to get started early so we could get done early. We're sorry for any inconvenience, you know, something like that. I mean, that goes a long way if somebody gives you a bad review. At least you go address it. Um, and even the good reviews, just go put, thank you so much for your business, right? Thank you so much. We highly appreciate your business. We enjoyed working with you, Tom. Please call us again next time, et cetera. Whatever you want to put there, just short little short and sweet um, replies go a long way. So which of those can you or should you work on? Maybe you just, you know, kind of wondering to yourself, like, hey, which one of these should I work on? Should I work on just getting more reviews? Or should I work on going and responding to reviews? Which one should I work on? So maybe just take a second, and write that down. Like maybe this is something you could put into place, put into action after this webinar, or maybe the first of next week. So capture positive reviews from your customer. I just want to keep showing this. Like every time somebody leaves you a five-star review, it should just make you excited because now you're one step closer to truly dominating online, the internet, for searches for tree service in your local area. I'm telling you, without fail, this is literally 100% proven over, over different client campaign, different client campaign, different client campaign, every state in the United States, 
everywhere in the world pretty much because Google wants to show the best companies in the top of the search results. It just goes without question, right? They don't want to show the bad companies because then you're going to get mad that you called a bad company. They want you to call the good companies, companies that are going to take care of you. So the more reviews and ratings you get, the better. So this one, you know, this particular customer, they've got a really good high Google five-star rating. I think they got like 90 reviews. And then even on Facebook, they've got 57 five-star reviews. So that just shows up. Every time somebody searches your business, what do you want? You want a big, huge five-star rating showing up at the top of the page. So they search your business, XYZ Tree Service, XYZ Tree Experts, Tree Care, whatever it is. And they see your Google map listing on the right-hand side right there with 97 reviews, 4.9 star rating. That's awesome, right? They're okay, this solidifies my decision. I think I'm going to call this company. And then they also see your Facebook page showing up right there. You got another 15, 20 five star reviews there. Who are they going to call? They're going to call you, right? They're going to call you because you're the top rated company. So I just want to make sure you understand the importance of that, getting those ratings. And uh, strategy for con uh, driving consistent reviews. We'll reiterate what we went over just a minute ago. So leverage tools to request a review after every service call. Uh, leave a rate us on Google link on your digital invoices, your website pages. That's another place I was gonna tell you, embedded on your website too. So if you got a website on your homepage gets typically the most traffic. And then also the contact page, people click on that page a lot of times to go there to leave a, you know, get, you know, request for a free estimate or contact you. Put them on both of those areas. That way you're gonna get people clicking on theirs, giving your reviews too. Cause you can also tell people, hey, look, Oh, the tool didn't work for you? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, if you go to our website and you go to our homepage, you're going to see a big, leave us a review on Google logo. Would you mind just clicking that and leaving us a review? It helps us so much. And we'd, we'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. People will do that for you. Train your crews to plant the seed and deliver a world-class experience. Make a call after the service to walk them through the review process. Hey, what better time to do it when right after you get the service done and they're happy? Hey, just want to make sure you're happy with Jim's... Um, you know, service on the job site, like let's say you're the office manager, office staff, whatever, uh, you're the scheduler, you know, the dispatcher, whatever, and you call them up, you say, hey, you know, they just got done with your job. Are you happy with everything? Yeah, everything looks great. All right, did you get a, did you get a text from us? Because we, we had sent out a review request and uh, we just want to make sure you got it and see if you had any questions about how to leave us a quick Google review. It takes literally like three seconds. Would you mind doing that for us? No, that'd be easy for, okay, if you want to check your text messages real quick, I'll show you. And they could just click on it and then they go leave you a Google review, right? I mean, it's, it's that simple, really or if you send it to their email, either way. So build reviews and recognition into your company culture and you will get more of those. Um, oh, sorry, the last one was leverage email, SMS and apps for maximum impact and to get the most amount of reviews. Because if you give everybody different options, some people are gonna click on the email, some people are gonna click on the text, some people are gonna click on your website, some people are gonna click on the invoice link when you send it to leave you that review. So the more places you have it, the more you're gonna get naturally. So the best tools for review automation, you know, there's Nearby Now, there's BirdEye, there's tons of them out there. I just put a couple of these logos up here, but we also have one here at Tree Service Digital that you can use. It's, it's very good. It, it helps get 10, 20 of these a month if you actually use it. Um, so you just want some sort of tool to make it easy rather than just asking people to go to your Google listing, leave your review, because a lot of people won't be able to find it. They won't know how to do it. They can't find the review pop-up button and all that stuff. So it's better and best if you can send them something that drives them to and helps them through the process. It's only two or three steps. It doesn't take that much. So, um, but yeah, that's it. So in, here's one of our other clients. They're in Texas, 247 Google reviews, 4.9 star rating. I mean, they get dozens and dozens and dozens of calls every month from their Google map listing, because look at it. It just, it just stands out. It's like, it just pop, it sticks right out. And as soon as you do a tree service search in that area, and you see 250 Google reviews on somebody's listing, you're going to go, that's got to be a good company. I mean, I don't see how they could fake 247 Google reviews. Let me call them and get an estimate. Looks like they take care of everybody. And then they're on the phone and they're calling your office to schedule an appointment, right? So you just, you've got to put this into your process and get this going because the sooner you do it, the sooner you're going to be reaping the benefits and the rewards of getting those reviews and those calls coming in. I mean, I've seen clients go from 10 calls a month to 80 calls a month because now their Google business profile on the maps is at the very, very top because they've got 50 reviews, 100 reviews, 200 reviews. So I, I just can't even tell you how important it is. It makes such a big difference. How to respond to every review. So put a system in the place and ensure that every review gets tracked and measured, right? So you can go respond to them by just going and clicking into your Google business profile. 
and literally just click in there to respond. Thank you so much, Sally, for your five-star review. We appreciate your business, right? And the next one goes, thanks so much, Ken. The next one, we appreciate your business. Uh, you know, the pleasure is all ours. The next one is, we, we really enjoy trimming your trees, Dale. You know, thanks so much. You know, whatever you want to put on there, people read those responses too. And they go, you know, this company is very gracious and very appreciative of these reviews. That makes me even want to call them even more, right? Because they're going to give me, they're going to tell me they thank you so much for my business once we do business. And so that just, that's just a good company. I think I'm going to call them. So it's really important to respond to those reviews too. Um, formulate a strategy for uh, professionally addressing and dealing with negative reviews. And we kind of went through this before. Just make sure you address the negative review if it comes through. Um, sometimes, again, it's the case of mistaken identity. Other times, it's a competitor trying to bash you, in which case you can request Google to remove it. There's a process for that. So there's a few different things you can do. Um, we do these things as well pretty regularly for our clients. So that's how to respond to every review. If you have a dashboard, you can always click in there. So if you're in the Google reviews, you just click on your reviews inside the dashboard there, and then you can go in here and hit reply. And all you do is click the reply button and you just type in your reply. Thanks so much for your business. Appreciate your business, you know, whatever, and hit submit. And that's where your reply goes. So how to respond to every review. We're just continuing on with this. Uh, these are some example responses. This, this company's got 90 reviews. It says 78 here, but this was a while back. Um, when I called, I got a real person who actually answered the phone. This is the actual review. Who actually answered. And if you know Florida, that doesn't happen very much. When I spoke to uh, so-and-so on the phone, he was very professional and answered all of my questions and concerns. When they came out, you know, they did very professional work, et cetera. Great company, highly recommend. So the response was, thank you, Tim. We truly appreciate your business and this thoughtful review. Thank you so much, right? So it's like, you just got to respond and just make it look like you really appreciate people's business. And that helps and goes a long way too. There's nothing cheesy about it at all. It helps people call you over your competition that has no reviews or five reviews and some of them are bad, some of them are good. Um, would anybody like help with this? If so, pop it in the chat if you have any questions or just get in touch with us. If you do you know, want help with getting online reputation and getting Google reviews, um, I can tell you without a doubt, it just helps tremendously with your business. You're gonna get a lot more calls coming in with the reviews versus not, not working on it. Um, so this is reputation response helps you get Google reviews across these different platforms, mostly Google, because that's what helps show up locally in search results online and gets more calls for you. So that's what we do typically. Uh, but we'll help you monitor your reviews and reputation across the web. Um, we'll respond to every review on your behalf. We'll gamify your reputation management process and get the entire team involved. We'll review tracking and tech rankings for rewards. So like if some of your you know, crew members are doing uh, more than others, you can reward and incentivize those people, right? So it's a, it's a fun process getting reviews. So get started now with reputation response. It's $250 a month if you want to do it just solely with our company. And we can figure the tool, have it set up in about two days for you. And you can literally just start sending out review requests as soon as you get the tool from us on email. And it just works, right? It gets configured and it gets synced up to your Google map listing, which is now called your Google business profile. And usually that's found inside your Gmail account. You click to the top right where it says Google Apps. You click on that and open it up. And there's typically a little Google storefront icon that says business profile. Click on that, open it up, and then uh, we sync it to that. Uh, we, don't, we don't even need your assistance with it. We can do it just you know, with our tool, and then we send that to you. But I mean, it's a very, very small price to pay to get your reputation up there in the very top. And then from there... I mean, you've, you know, you're starting, you're well on your way to being the top rated company in your local market. Cause there's so many people that are missing this opportunity. We see it all the time. We get new customers weekly, right. In our agency. And some people are doing a great job with it. Some people aren't doing a great job with it. And we see people start working on it from the beginning and, and, and how far they go in just four five, six months, or even a year is incredible. Right. And the call volume they get, the amount of leads they get, the amount of customers they're signing up. It's just, it's, it's incredible how, how far that can take you getting reviews. So if you need any help with that or you'd like to look at our solution, $250 a month, it's month to month, it works. It gets you a lot of different, um, a lot of reviews coming in. And you can actually toggle the tool from Google to Facebook, but we recommend Google to get tons and tons there. Once you outpace your competition, you can move it to Facebook and get some reviews on Facebook too. That way you've got reviews everywhere. And again, it goes back to somebody searching, like let's say you're doing direct mail, you're doing signs, you're doing online marketing. When somebody looks your company up, they're not going to find any dirt about you. They're going to find your awesome rated company on Google Maps and your awesome rated company on Facebook, Instagram, whatever else, right? So that's, that's what it helps you do. 
Um, so strategy for driving consistent reviews, one recap for you, and then we'll end this webinar training today. Leverage tools to request a review after every single job service call you do, every single job you go on to do tree service work, you know, tree removal, whatever, just always request a review. Leave a rate us on Google link on your digital invoices and website. Train your crews to plant the seed. Hey, we're going to be sending you a, a Google review link tool. Would you mind giving us a Google review if we send it to you? It's, it's super easy. It takes like four or five seconds to leave the review, but gosh, it helps us out so much on the internet. We would really appreciate it. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll leave you a review. Okay, cool. We'll send it to you in just a few minutes. All right. And so that's it. You know, just train everybody to ask everybody for reviews. And I promise you're going to get dozens of reviews. Make a call after the service to walk them through the review process. If you have time, if you have the staff, and if you have the office set up to do that, uh, build reviews and recognition into your company culture. Uh, leverage email, SMS texting, and apps, invoices, links on the website, and everything else for maximum impact and to get the most reviews you possibly can. And I promise you, you guys, be well on your way to being the highly, highest rated um, tree company in your local market. And you're going to increase your lead flow uh, with it. So get started with reputation response now. You can email us back uh, from the email invites from this webinar, or you can just go to treeservicedigital.com and fill out the uh, get a free strategy session form. We'll be in touch with you about that if that's something that you're interested in. We definitely can help you out with that. It's easy to set up. Um, and then you're, you're off to the races getting reviews. Or you can give us a call at the office at 770-637-3707. I hope you guys got some value out of today's free training. I, I, I truly love talking about online reputation because I can just see it. You know, we see it every day uh, in our clients' campaigns, how much of an impact it does and how much it helps them grow their business and get more calls and lead flow coming in. Um, so I wanted, to, I wanted to deliver this today, make sure you got some value out of it. If you have any questions whatsoever, shoot us an email, get in touch with us. You can find us on Facebook, our website, YouTube, uh, podcast, everywhere else too. So hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm signing off now and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.